please welcome to the stage, Nick. remember my friends talking about their mommies and daddies and realizing that I had no idea what that meant. I remember these men coming to pick my friends up and while it had been explained to me who they were, I didn't understand how they had gotten one. Now there's this look of pity in the eyes of people when you tell them that you grew up without a father and I've spent my entire life avoiding that, avoiding having to explain myself away to people. And so, when I was nine years old, and my mom sat me down, she said, I think it's time that you know who your father is. She always wanted a kid. And now she was 42 years old, and it was time to make that happen. So she had a conversation with her old college roommate, Claudia, and Claudia's husband, John, and she told them how much this meant, and why it was urgent, and how much she needed this. And they came to an agreement. My mom would spend the night with John, Specifically for the purposes of procreation. Now that's that's a lot of information. Well, and they even at one point talked about the idea of all three of them raising a child together, one big happy family, and how beautiful would that be? But then John and Claudia moved to New Mexico. They kept their apartment in New York though, and sometimes they would come back and visit. Sometimes John would come back and visit, and sometimes my mom would go over to the apartment. But when she got pregnant, everyone was very happy. I mean, they couldn't all raise me together anymore because they were living in New Mexico and my mom was still in New York, but they could get as close to that as possible. And it was exciting, and it was new, but as time went on, my existence became a symbol of their wild past in the 70s. My existence became a threat to the now traditional family that they were trying to cultivate. And when I was two years old, John and Claudia decided that they were going to abandon any idea of being a part of my life. And there it is. There's that look of pity. And I fucking hate that look. And now I don't have a story about how my mom wanted me so badly to happen, now I just kind of happen. And I should be really upset about that. But I'm kind of relieved. Because now I have the truth. And I can put it all behind me. Now I can spend more time looking forward than back. I can focus on my identity and my wild past. And I can use my own strength to feel better about that look of pity in your eyes. Thank you.